the air suspension on my Mercedes is starting to sag pretty bad, so today I'm going to show you how to replace the rear air spring. If you've ever replaced a tire before, then you're already halfway there. There's nothing else that you have to remove off the rear suspension to get the air spring out. And with the tire off, you could already see the crusty old air spring. From under the car, I'm going to use a 10mm wrench to remove the air line. At this point, I've already removed the air compressor fuse. All I need is a gentle twist and this air spring comes free. At this point, you can see just how soft the rubber is and with a little bit of convincing, I was able to get this thing out of there. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Now since these are made out of rubber, they just wear out over time. After replacing the plastic retaining clip and the brass fitting, it's time to install the new air spring. Since the new air spring is completely collapsed, I placed a bottle jack underneath the knuckle to raise the spring to meet the retaining clip. Reinstall the wheel, torque the lug bolts down, and now it's time to hop in the vehicle and hit the raise suspension button. Once the dash reads raise level, it's time to go for a test drive. 